Each day now we are waking up to a world that's moved a little bit further from how it used to be. So tonight we're going to take an ambitious swing at listing what all is going to be different when this is all over. And I really want you to watch this very closely because we want you to add to this list. Let us know what we left out. So now a special Denver 7 360 look at how this pandemic has changed our lives. We obviously can't know exactly what our world's going to look like on the other side of this pandemic, but we're pretty sure of the following. We will wash our hands a lot more than we used to. We'll clean our phones more too. I'll be honest, how often did you clean your phone before this? I know, me either, gross. We'll be more cognizant of what we touch and what we touch after we touch that. And all these things will only help prevent all manner of future sicknesses. We'll better understand the critical importance of voting. Now, this crisis has shown us that when we vote, we are choosing a person who makes life or death decisions for us and our families. Also, vote by mail, like we use here in Colorado, will likely expand, and electronic voting may finally catch on. We'll be more aware of how much we need each other in all aspects of our lives. Who knew you'd miss that coworker, or neighbor, or just casual acquaintance you never really even thought you liked? We'll be less wasteful. If you're anything like me, you have realized that we don't need to buy everything that we buy and we don't need to use as much of what we do need. I'm looking at you, toilet paper and paper towels. We'll be more appreciative of our health and the value of life and the value of employment and the value of hand lotion because of all the hand washing. And how about freedom of movement? Before this, did you ever consider how wonderful it was to be able to go where you want when you want? We'll be more careful and deliberate with our spending and more grateful for those who work in grocery stores and deliver things to our home. Thank you all, by the way. Salad bars may go the way of dinosaurs, as will those open bowls of snacks at house parties and bars. After our post-quarantine restaurant celebration marathon's over, I'm guessing we'll cook at home more. Turns out we're pretty good at it. Some people will no doubt have found reason to return to their faith or to consider spirituality. The handshake will be reconsidered. More of us will be working from home or we'll now have that option when we can't make it into work. The people were already fleeing big cities for the open space of the burbs. And this may accelerate that trend. Count on profound changes in the healthcare industry and not just in crisis preparedness or in our new appreciation for nurses and doctors. Thank you all, by the way. We'll likely see the rise of telemedicine. Teletherapy too. We have seen that mental health counseling is too important to ignore and getting it online just too convenient not to pursue. Try to recreate online, I thought. Now that schools and students are figuring out online learning, it's hard to imagine that won't somehow be normalized into education. A lot of us will become aware of the importance of touch, of human contact. I mean, who could use a hug about now? The stature of hairstylists and barbers will grow. We will savor live sports and live music. Bureaucracy could become more streamlined. The red tape government has cut temporarily may prove permanently unnecessary. And as 9-11 became a recruiting tool for the U.S. Armed Forces, this could be a call to arms for careers in science and medicine. This period of fear and quarantine has acted as a mirror, allowing us to really examine our lives. And we've seen that the simple things in life are the most important. Just like mom said, family, friendship, affection, health, employment, time, and space, and how we fill them. But Plato said an unexamined life is not worth living. Well, after this examination, think of how worth living our lives will be. All right, so now it's your turn. What do we leave out? What do you think is going to be different on the other side? Please email us, 360 at thedenverchannel.com.